a good website is always a balanced combination of content and visuals. Apart from quality copy, it's crucial that you have images showcasing your services and work. These could be standalone pictures like these. Or a gallery like this. In this video we'll show how to add and edit images on your website. Open the editor of the site you are working with and locate the place where you'd like to have an image. We're going to add a block here. Click on the bigger plus icon so the blocks library appears. If you'd like to have a standalone image, browse through the list of blocks and choose any with an image placeholder like this. Or, just open the gallery section and pick a ready-made image gallery there. Alternatively, you can add an image or a gallery element to an existing block. For that, click on the smaller plus icon in the block and select the image or gallery element from the list. Now, if you see an empty placeholder like this or like this, you can upload an image there. Just click on the placeholder, then tap the gear icon. This is where you can select a file from your computer or search one in the library with the keywords. Once you add an image, more settings become available. You can decide what the image does and how it looks. If you'd like to make the image clickable, set a click action here. This could be an image scale, redirect to another page on your website, an external resource, or a pop-up. The alt text here is used for SEO purposes. This is what the search engines like Google will see and index. Make sure to make it descriptive. Then, you can play with image colors a bit. Color overlay and filters option help customize the image to fit the overall website design. Compare the original image and how it looks now with the filters. To fit the image in the container, try changing the positioning settings. Finally, you can expand the image placeholder and zoom the image in or out until you find the best fit. That's it. Your website now looks complete with the images representing your business.